So I'm naming my strongest northern hemisphere back lines. It's fire, it's really good. How are you so cute, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just kicked the leg off once in my face. Hello and welcome to The Wrap this week. It is April, I have my gloves on and it's snowing. So last week, Lewis Riesamer dropped into the wrap to select his perfect player. And you guys at home have had your say. So starting of Jordan, he's gone for strength, the beast. And Tamawera for passing, he's gone for George Gregan, brilliant pick. And leadership, Thierry Dussetois, thank you. The official J says strength, Peter Steph to toil. What a year he had in 2019. World player of the year, speed, Carly Niles. Now that is a great shout. And leadership, Sia Kalise. And Kenneth still reckons strength, Rory Best. Skills, uh, Rory Best. Kicking, Rory Best. And leadership, yes, it's Rory Best. Well, I've also had to get myself a little go. My strength, I've gone for Tendai M2 Rory. If you have a nickname of The Beast, then you've got to be pretty strong. Speed, Carlin Niles is quite simply the fastest rugby player on the planet. Passing, for me, has got to be Aaron Smith. Skills, King Carlos Spencer. Remember him kicking Neil Jenkins and leadership. Martin Johnson, there you go. So over the weekend, we asked you to get in touch with all your questions that you had for me. So thank you to everyone that submitted them and please keep them coming. Josh Hawkins asked the toughest player had to defend or ever face. I think Sitaveni Sivavatu was probably one of the best wingers that I ever had to play against. He could do everything, unbelievable ball play, really strong and fast. And then in the all black side, obviously made it quite tricky to defend as well. Teams Harrison 2020 asked, who's faster, me or Ashton? I'm presuming that's banter, surely. Loads quicker than Ashton, even though I'm retired. Um, Ollie Small who's asked, how are you so cute, bro? <laughs> Just really good face cream. Carlo Fede who's asked, who is the best player to go on a night out with? Well, he was on the wrap last week. It's my best mate, Danny Kerr. Tobias asked, Who's the wildcard player I'd select for the 2021 Lions? I don't think there's going to be any wildcard players. However, I do think Warren Gatland will select players that didn't play in the Six Nations. So my shout goes to Joe Marler. And which female rugby player would you 100% have on your team? Well, you're joined by Rachel Burford, so I'm going to keep my voice down when I say this. But Emily Scarrett's the best rugby player in the world. I'd have her in my team. The age-old debate in our sports is which has the better rugby? Is it the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere? And to add to that debate, we wanted to know which hemisphere had the best backline. So we thought we would chat to Aaron Smith, the Highlanders and All Blacks legend to give us his opinion. It's fire, it's really good. So I'm naming my strongest Northern Hemisphere backline. I'd go to Pond. And he's too far! Uh, Sixton. Farrell, Tulangi, and then I'd have the young Welsh, young winger, Simmet. And at 14, I'd have, um, I'd go Daly. And at 15, Halfpenny. Got to have my man in there. Thank you very much, Aaron Smith. I mean, who am I to debate with one of the greatest scrum halves that has ever played the game? But I'm going to, I'm going to. But I'm just going to critique it, and I love the fact that he's gone with Manu Tuolangi. He's an absolute beast, and if he's fit, he makes it into any one team. And props to Lewis Rees-Sammer. He is making waves right across the international game. Let us know, give us your thoughts on what changes you would make. My turn to give my Southern Hemisphere team. We're starting at number nine, and I've gone for Aaron Smith. I simply think he's the best passer of a ball in world rugby. Alongside him at fly half, gone for Richard Mwanga, the maverick star player at 11, I've gone for Marika Korobeti. The Australian flyer is absolutely rapid. At 12, Ngani Lao Mape, phenomenal ball player. Partnering him, Jordan Pattaya, new onto the international circuit, but the young fella is a rangy, wild runner, so love to see that go together. At 14, Caleb Clark. He gets me excited when he carries the ball. He is a phenomenal player. What a start to from the youngster here. At 15, I've gone for Bowden Barrett. Quite simply, one of the best rugby players for me in the last decade. So there you have it. Both teams in the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere. What I would like to know is, 
What changes would you make? And more importantly, what side are you on? Team Smith or Team Monier? And leave your comments in the section below. Whilst we're talking about backs here on The Wrap this week, I thought that I would try and get one of my friends onto the show this week. It's Rachel Burford, the Harlequins and England World Cup winner. Thanks so much for joining us. We've had a couple of rounds of Women's Six Nations. First of all, it was so, it's so nice to see the Women's Six Nations separate to the men's and pushed on a couple of months so that they can play in some <laughs> glorious weather. Yeah, right. <laughs> that. But anyway, at the weekend, we saw Ireland absolutely phenomenal for Wales. They're not in a great place at the moment, but they play against France this weekend. How do you see that one going? Yeah, I mean, well, based on the result of the weekend, they're on really good form. Similar result that France had against Wales, so there'll be all those mind games going on. But yeah, like, I think there's a real opportunity there. France are in good form, yep. um, so it's going to be an absolute cracker of a game. England, the Red Roses have a bye week. They're into the final. Been very good. They've been very good, haven't they? They'll be very confident. Yeah, they are very confident. I think, you know, speaking to a lot of the players, they are quite disappointed with parts of their performance. So they'll want to tidy that up this week. They've got a good opportunity to, to regroup, get ready for that final next week, and, and yeah, hopefully, you know, bring home the, um, the rewards. Rachel, it's absolutely freezing, and you know me <laughs> as a 37 year old big baby. I love to do challenges, and we've had boys and girls get in touch with loads of different challenges. It's a wrap. But this week, as a skillful centre, I thought we'd do a, it's called a triple kick challenge. The first one, a couple of keepy uppies, have it, get it over the post. The next one's gonna be picking it up off the ground with your feet, drop kick over the bar. And the third one's all about accuracy. 20 metres out, I want you to hit the crossbar. You up for it? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway. Do you wanna go first or shall I go first? You go first. I go first. Yeah, you set the standard. Okay, one, oh, two. Oh, you're going that way. Thank you! Okay. I might go for your tactic. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> She's just kicked the load of mud in my face! Sabotage! <laughs> That's over, oh. is it? No! Oh, birth! <sighs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So the next one is the old rainbow flick. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Just get off the floor. I'm not a clutch player. <laughs> Damn it. Did Riley do his in the snow? Yeah. None of us could do it. Um, not because we're not good enough, it's, it's the weather and stuff. Yeah. You know it is. It's the ball. Yeah, I'm not even sure it's official size and weight. We're going to attempt the crossbar challenge. Mm. What, what, you I, going I mean, for crossbar, yeah? I've not got my range at mm. all. Okay, so this is the mm. last one. Clutch player. Oh no, that's way mm. too big. He's nailed it! Great stuff there, Bab. Do keep your challenges coming. We absolutely love getting muddy out in the rain here. What a wonderful spring that we're having. But well, thanks once again for joining in this week. Don't forget to subscribe to World Rugby, hit the like button and send in all your comments. Are you Team Monier or Team Smith?